We are going to be talking about the beautiful sensory system that lives on the soles of our feet. We know that there are hundreds of thousands of cutaneous receptors that when stimulated, tell our brains where we are in space. This is very important for our center of gravity, our center of mass when we're walking and moving to prevent falls. It's very important to maintain balance. And if we've ever had any injuries, and in particular ankle sprains, from example, for example, it's very important that the integrity of these receptors stay intact. As we age, when we turn 50, for example, the sensitivity of these receptors decreases approximately 20%, meaning that it would take 20% more pressure to stimulate these receptors. By the time we turn 80, we will have lost 75% of the sensitivity of these cutaneous receptors. This does not bode well for our aging population, as we know that falls are extremely common and can be very, very detrimental to someone's longevity and health. So, a couple things first. How do we identify if someone has lost the sensation on the bottoms of their feet? We will use a 256 tuning fork. So there's a reason we went with the specific Hertz. What we're going to do is have the patient lay on their stomach. I'm simply going to tap the tuning fork and I'm going to press it to the base of their heel. They should not only feel the pressure of the tuning fork, but also the vibration. We do that for three tests. The client should be able to feel two out of three of those. Again, vibration plus sensation. If they cannot feel that, you know that we're going to have an issue with how that patient is gaining sensory information from their environment. So first, what do we do? Exercise their foot. We know that exercise increases circulation. Increased circulation has been shown to increase nerve fiber branching in the foot. Increased nerve fiber branching, more sensation. So exercise is a no-brainer. Even things like rolling the bottom of the foot, deep tissue massage. Um, we also recommend our toe strengtheners, things like that to engage the foot. From a um, insert perspective, this is something that we will utilize called a balance button. And this is from Human Locomotion and we'll put the link in the bottom of the video. I love using these because we know that when people fall, they will tend to fall laterally or towards the outside of their foot. This is where we also start to lose a lot of the cutaneous receptor sensitivity. So this balance button is simply a sticker and you place it right along the inside of their factory insert of their shoe. And you can see how I have a little lip. This balance button has little bumps on it. So when the patient puts their foot on it, this bumps on the button will stimulate or activate some of these receptors and cue their brain, hey, when you start to tilt laterally, we want you to come back to midline. So I will put that just on the outside of the factory insert with the bigger buttons kind of on the edge of it. So you can see how I have that there. It's kind of extending over the factory insert. And we'll have these patients, patients wear this in their shoes as we start to exercise their foot. So I hope this has been helpful to not only understand why it is important to maintain the receptor activity at the bottoms of our feet, to increase exercise activity to our feet, and also to utilize um, certain types of inserts when needed.